So here's the, here's the paradox of economic booms. So when a country or an organization um, or any economy is going through prolonged periods of prosperity, guess what happens? Well, people don't have to apply themselves as much, right? So the, the, the rate of uh, innovation, disruption, problem solving, creation, all starts to come down because there is no need, right? So people are very needs driven. And if you know, they're having uh, prolonged periods of economic prosperity, there's not that incentive to drive themselves. So good times produce weak people, right? They, pe they produce weak people. So those weak people, then what happens is, because, and they're weak only because they're not resourceful. They haven't had to be resourceful. They're not practiced in solving problems in avoiding problems, in creation, in disruption, in innovation, in, dis in inventions, discoveries, in explorations. They haven't had to do that because there was no need, right? So good times produce weak people. And then eventually what happens is you have an entire generation of weak people. And what do those weak people do? They produce hard times. Because if no one is having to, no, a majority of the people in an economy or even in an, at an organizational level are not applying themselves, they're not pushing themselves, they're not aiming for superior performance, right? Because they're all comfortable. What it's going to do is you're going to take all of these weak people and they're going to produce hard times. So eventually you're going to take any, you can look at any organization, you can look at any um, nation, you can look at any economy. It will go through prolonged periods of, after it's gone through prolonged periods of economic prosperity, inadvertently it has to come down and crash at some point because people became weak. So when it comes down, what happens? And this is the, this is the interesting, paradox of, of economic cycles. So when there is a recession, it produces good people. Why? Because in a recession, to survive, a person has to be extremely proactive. They've got to solve problems because survival is at stake. So you can't afford to be complacent. So when an entire generation starts to go, I'm going to apply myself because if I don't apply myself, I can't feed my family and everybody's starting to think like that, then it's starting to give rise to disruption, innovation, creation, discoveries, explorations once again. And so bad times lead to good people and those good times, those good people then eventually will create the good times. But if that good time, if those good times last too long, it then starts to produce the next generation of weak people. And so the cycle continues on and on and on. Now think about this, right? If you took a bird's eye view and you go, if we could get an entire generation or in, in, all the people in an economy or all the people in an organization to act cohesively and go, hey, the times are really good. But this is the time not to be complacent. This is the time to really aim for peak performance. You don't have to work more than eight or nine hours, but if you did, we could go to the next level and we can maintain our competitive edge. If people thought like that, if nations thought like that, if organizations and teams thought like that, then there'd be no economic slumps, right? So economic slumps are natural and they're consequential and they're expected because people's behaviors change in times of economic prosperity and in times of recessions. So it's really interesting.